Hi, and welcome to Benza Vineyards in Oregon's beautiful Willamette Valley. This continues our In the Vineyard series, and today we'd like to talk about something a little different, taking a soil monolith. Hi, I'm Ron Benza, and this is a soil monolith on its way to being displayed once we're finished with it all. It's a vertical slice of the earth, which we did to showcase the two soil types that we have here in the Laurelwood district of the Willamette Valley. The top part is Laurelwood soil. The bottom part as it mix, mixes down is volcanic basalt, which we call jewelry. And it's the combination of two, those two soils that give our grapes such incredible flavors. So this is the newly created Laurelwood District American Viticulture Area, or AVA as we call it. It's part of the Shehala Mountains, which is its own AVA, within the broader Willamette Valley. And it was so named because of the distinctive Laurelwood soil that blew for about a million years onto this windward section of the mountains, which is windblown loess from the retreat of the glaciers into Canada. We had a great opportunity in front of us when we dug this septic test pit for our winery with a backhoe. The Laurelwood soil is up top, volcanic jewelry is below it. Here's a view from the side. And this gave us the idea of taking the soil monolith. This is Laurelwood soil. That is the color of it. And it is got the identifying characteristics of these pisolites which are these iron oxide balls that you find, which gives, we believe, the, some of the spicy and savory characteristics of Laurelwood soil. Well, it's on to actually trying to dig this section out. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, we had our ace handyman, Julio Huesca, and his yeah. son, Julio Jr. And Julio uh, went to town on a few YouTube videos seeing how it was done at some universities and decided he could perhaps do as well, or if not, even improve on it. So the first thing is yeah, cutting and exactly. scoring the section, getting it ready. So, and the next thing is uh, building the frame to take this very vertical, heavy piece of soil out. And I slide all this frame all the way to the bottom, keep it more solid. Yeah. So it is, it, it, that whole frame goes down yeah. four feet or so. Four feet and a half. Wow. And you were able to get it in there without a whole lot of... Did you, what, did, did, did you pound it in or...? Uh, no, just only uh, slide it to go in. So I pound a little bit, but not that much. I try to protect the... Yeah. The so blocks, so what's the next step? Uh, digging. So right now we need to put this cap in the top. Hold the soil. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Great. Mm -hmm. So you've got about another two feet to go. Foot and a half, bro. Foot and a half, yeah. So what Julio's doing now is just digging out the monolith that he's got contained in the plywood box, wrapped with plastic around it to keep it intact. And so it's really uh, uncovering, uncovering the thing. As Michelangelo used to say, chipping the marble until he found the statue underneath. Well, the monolith is finally free and this 300 pound object needed to get forked by a tractor into the barn where we started to work on it. it looks a little bit like a carrot cake here. That's a heavy mastic adhesive on the back of it. And we flipped it over and started shaving it. We're going to be allowing this to dry so that it can showcase the two different soil types very quickly and visually. And uh, it's going to take some time to get there, but that's okay. Uh, we'll continue to do some work in making sure that it is displayable. Whether it's vertical or horizontal like this, we're not sure yet. I prefer it if we can hang it on the wall and perhaps have some legend about what people in the tasting room where this is headed are actually looking at and why it's important for our wines. Here's a close-up view. This is the Laurelwood end, that darker section on the right. 
will start to show into about eight, nine, ten inches of this sample as it dries. And as we move down the sample and we get into the volcanic basalt, the jewelry, it gets harder and harder and harder, really kind of a ceramic glaze. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel. By all means, come and check us out at Benza.com. Until the next video, take care.